In this video, I will introduce you to IBM SPSS. I will be using the version 20 of its package. Basically, it shouldn't be different from the other versions as well. Let me say, this introduction is for people or students who have little to no knowledge about the statistical software. In future videos, things will get more advanced. First off, what is SPSS? SPSS means Statistical Package for the Social Sciences and was first launched in 1968. Since SPSS was acquired by IBM in 2009, it's officially known as IBM SPSS Statistics, but most users still just refer to it as SPSS. Quick Overview of Main Features SPSS is software for editing and analyzing all sorts of data. These data may come from basically any source. Scientific research, a customer database, Google Analytics or even the server log files of a website. SPSS can open all file formats that are commonly used for structured data, such as spreadsheets from MS Excel or OpenOffice, plain text files, .txt or .csv. Now, let's talk about the two views we find in SPSS. SPSS, Data View. After opening data, SPSS displays them in a spreadsheet-like fashion as shown. This sheet called Data View always displays our data values. SPSS, Variable View. An SPSS data file always has a second sheet called Variable View. It shows the metadata associated with the data. Metadata is information about the meaning of variables and data values. This is generally known as the codebook, but in SPSS it's called the dictionary. For non-SPSS users, the look and feel of SPSS data editor window, Data Analysis. SPSS can open all sorts of data and display them and their metadata in two sheets in its data editor window. So how to analyze your data in SPSS? Well, one option is using SPSS elaborate menu options. For instance, if our data contain a variable holding respondents incomes over 2010, we can compute the average income. Doing so opens a dialog box in which we select one or many variables and one or several statistics we'd like to inspect. SPSS Output Window. After clicking OK, a new window opens up. SPSS Output Viewer window. It holds a nice table with all statistics on all variables we chose. The screenshot below shows what it looks like. As we see, the Output Viewer window has a different layout and structure than the Data Editor window we saw earlier. Creating output in SPSS does not change our data in any way. Unlike Excel, SPSS uses different windows for data and research outcomes based on those data. For non-SPSS users, the look and feel of SPSS apostrophe output viewer window probably comes closest to a PowerPoint slide holding items such as blocks of text, tables and charts. SPSS reporting. SPSS output items, typically tables and charts, are easily copy-pasted into other programs. For instance, many SPSS users use a word processor such as MS Word, OpenOffice for reporting. Tables are usually copied in rich text format, which means they'll retain their styling such as fonts and borders. SPSS Overview Main Features Now that we have a basic idea of how SPSS works, let's take a look at what it can do. Opening data files, either in SPSS own file format or many others, editing data such as computing sums and means over columns or rows of data. SPSS has outstanding options for more complex operations as well. Creating tables and charts containing frequency counts or summary statistics over groups of cases and variables. Running inferential statistics such as ANOVA, regression and factor analysis. Saving data and output in a wide variety of file formats. 